Right, we're back. So, um, Flores, it turns out that not only was uh, Flores you know, gone a bit AWOL, uh, but he also missed out on a part of the quest which he didn't do, and uh, Mordor also experienced a glitch. The result is now that we have clones. So, yes, let us continue before this gets weirder. I think I'm a clone now. I freaking called it, you would sing that. <laughs> and again, I do not I need love to be that a song. It's okay. Also, for fuck's sake. He's going to run over here by the law. Oh. Well, not a bad thing when he runs over here. I've lost which one is mine. Let's take all of them. Holy shit, a lot of things is going on now. You know, oh. It may be not so bad that they're close to him. You know, more, more people pounding the enemy. True, true. Okay. Oh, two? Not even. Think up, Ronnie. Come back here so I can cut you down. Okay. Now, the law says it's about the Korintokai. By the 20th century, Bokuda was an outdated term, but the Korintokai held to it. They drifted into Tokyo in the 1920s. They immediately infiltrated the underground gambling scene. What was the edge? They were the first Yakuza group to exploit the popularity of the pachinko industry. They expanded into occult arms and shipments and the supernatural protection rackets. Right, let us move on. Kinda have to remove these guys. I have to say, if you're a gangster and you want to basically, you know, make something of your business, if you will, then occult protection brackets is quite something when you think about it. Yeah. But I suppose a logical expansion in this world, if we can figure it out, mm. you know, from, despite my misgivings, I'd say this guy should definitely figure something out. Hmm. Right, well, this is the last safe house. It is Se Filthy Fist. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Samantha Fisk! Oh, the Kingpin's not gonna like this. Oh. That is going to decapitate someone else with a card or this time. Well, good luck. We're going to the cemetery. Have fun. <laughs> I need to say, feel bad about leaving oh, the sure I'm That's sure we'll manage. Somehow. Feel bad about leaving him behind, but, well, we don't necessarily have a Damn. choice to him to a better place. It was basically, as I said, the first time you're like, yeah, okay, you have this or you have nothing. Take it or leave it. But understand leaving him basically out in the street if he went, um, this couch is too hard. Or something like that. He's probably <laughs> gonna, he's probably going to die anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're about as cold as the polar caps, I think. Look, worst case scenario, I go back over there myself and shoot him in the head. They're done. Again, you're extremely cold. Maybe the mission will throw some light over. Let me just see. No, but red doesn't even explain anything. Wait a moment, ravaging assault rifle, is this better than what I have? No. What is that thing stood over there, seriously? It's a sealed illimitable Kyonshi. Examine. Um, pick up the stacks of Ufudas. Um, okay. I still have to examine this thing. What else? Pick up the stack of Ufudas. You have to accept. It's right in front of us. Click on it. No, the ex the sealed in, in the I cannot see it. 
It's, right, it's the, the creature the giving the ear. The police officer that's sitting there has his hand on a whole stack of them. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Yes, that thing. This thing. Uh, no, she was trying to find out what the seal illimitable Kuyanshi was. That's the creature. Fighter seal. Well, do I have any of these? Shh. Well, stand still. Where did it go? Did it go into my inventory? Yes. You pour your, it's probably already been added to a previous stack. Oh, ah, wait, already that, had is, a bunch that of is. Okay, I found it. Right, well, let's go in. Oh, no. I have. It still says try to seal it. Yes, yes. one of these and then the. Oh, okay. The one outside is already sealed. We have to weaken it first. There. Now it's sealed. Over here for law. Um, that's a bad omen. There. I wonder what that's that means. I didn't say the law was there. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. It's about the Ufuda. A Kyonshi, one of the hungry dead, lies on the ground. A piece of paper stuck to its head. Pray the wind does not blow it away. Pray time does not eat the parchment. Ley lines are writing on the macro scale. Written letters are ley lines on the micro scale. The written prayer holds me monster down with the weight of a continent. Oh. Wow. So we're gonna find the order of the first boss. Well, the grave, and I don't think it's in here, but I don't suppose it hurts to check. Oh, well, we can't get up there. Okay. Well. Oh, I get it. The gust of wind, I that's think. A, that's unsealing the things when it does that. Right. Okay, so where is the grave? Trying to follow the wind, maybe? No, that just unseals the monsters, Rana. A bit like what the Lord just said. Mm. Well, let's try this alley over here. That's whatever we want to call it. <clears throat> Also, guys, feel free to explore the graveyard, but after this fight, I can still use my keyboard, I have to go change the batteries in my mouse. Ah, oh, here it is. We will be right back. Um, okay, Rana. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, well. The gust of wind just read the other one. Now. Now. Every time I keep accidentally shooting one of them. There. Moving on. Find some flowers and some water and some incense. Here's flowers. Some incense, maybe over here ish. Uh, it's a ghost after one of us. I starting to get a few more flowers and the ghost is attacking Cobra. It's probably pissed that I took the flowers. Disturbed soul. And somebody just attracted the Kyonchu. Hey, you see me! Yeah. Why did you say the flowers were so good? Um, I walked by this grave. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh boy. And yeah, you only gotta watch out for the area of effect attacks because, you know, these Kyonjis are kind of troublesome. Yeah. 
So okay. basically, we have to destroy the shield and then we can use the food on it. Alright. Mm. Find a funerary flowers that will be over there and then find some water bucket and then. Find the flowers are back here where we, we, we just stood, mate. This one releases one of these disturbed souls. Alright, I was just a little focused on the actual ghost. And now this one is pissed. There's a fucking load going on. Okay, I think we should just let Givinia handle the full dust. She seems good at it. I did that one. Okay. Okay, flowers. Okay, yeah, they are. Come to me. And be careful not to hit the Kionchi with your attacks because that breaks the charm. Right. We'll only be focusing on the disturbed soul. Let's move on and try to find the other components. Okay. Everybody does have fl their flowers, I take it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. good, good. There's also flowers over here, Flippy. Oh. Yes. And a bucket. Surely an ancient Gionchi. Ow. <laughs> okay, maybe we should blow it away a bit so it doesn't stand on the bucket. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Now you can see it. No. Needs to be where you go. No, no. Just say it's not happening. We may just have to brutalize it. Because nothing happens. Maybe it's because of it's, you know, being ancient. I'll just pick up the bucket while you guys do that. Alright. Yeah. Wait, it's dead? Yes. Yeah. Maybe it was so ancient that that sort of magic didn't work on it anymore. Huh, interesting. So, younger Kionchis uh, have strong enough magic in them that they basically fix themselves up, but older Kionchis. Well, they're old. So, follow up. Where are you going, Givinia? Uh, I was looking if there was some incense behind the house. There's probably incense inside the temple. That's where you usually find incense in Japanese in Japan. Now wait for the rest of us to get the pocket because you don't know if they'll trigger anything. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, the flowers triggered Anchor Souls, after all. Let's see what happens when I take the bucket next. Nothing. Yeah. Like, literally nothing happens. Yeah, That's it's just a bucket. Unlike the souls, it really doesn't... All they need personal value. Uh, 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 what? Okay. It was a strong blast of wind. Yes, yes, that happens. I was more confused by where the hell it was going. <laughs> oh crap! Here. I. The problem is that you know, unlike when a monster dies, there's really no warning that you're about to put on a folder. So it means I usually just you know press again and then I just shoot the nearest thing. And it has, does everyone have the bucket? Yes. I have it. I do. Yep. Okay. You know, just want to make sure because the last time I didn't ask, prob uh, ask properly, I got yelled at. Yep, here's the incense. Yes. Getting the incense? Incense? And we triggered a strong gust of wind, so we should expect the uh, guys outside to be... I uh, don't think it's triggered, I just think this happened so that, you know, you can't put them in the graveyard and lock down. But give me a... Sorry. Fill the bucket with water from the cemetery trough. Now we can Rana. go, because now Rana just confirmed he got his thing. Seriously, this is the exact same thing you lambasted me for doing last time. Yeah, but I was kind of assuming had it when he came and stayed stood next to us. You can't assume that with Rana! Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you really can't!
I'll be getting this in a moment. And furthermore, this relies upon the assumption that everyone has noticed that. I hadn't. Okay, fair enough. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, there we go. What does this thing even say? Let me just check. Ryo Kyoto, October 28, 1898, April the 1st, 1941. Death is a rigged game. Place okay. the flowers on a gravestone. I will be doing that in a moment. Okay. And clean the grave. This is really the worst part of time doing this. Use the instance placement. Yep, I will be doing that now. If I can just mark it. Yes, now here we are. Use dirty grave. Yeah. Okay, I will be cleaning that. Uh, that went a gust of wind. Yep. <sighs> <clears throat> <laughs> and, yeah. oh, okay, that was very well timed. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Is everyone done? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go to Midoru Market. Now we can leave this place. Actually, I have to say, I really like the Japanese idea of, you know, respecting your dead, but when the dead actually come back to, you know, bite oh. you in the ass, that's a different matter. How weird would it be if my grandmother just stood out of his her grave as a ghost and just went, Well, I'm going to kick your ass today. Wouldn't that be out of character for her? It would, but because she became evil after becoming a ghost. Well, that would depend on how you die, because traditionally in Japanese mythology, you don't become an unreal just because you die. You die because you're angry, hate-filled, vengeful, and come back with such a grudge that you basically just take it out for everyone who's even in the vicinity. Ah, okay. Then I can tell you, even if it, well, see, it's not ringing Japanese, but I can tell you then my grandmother would not come back as an unreal. Almost the opposite. Ancient art and it did so. Shoot a motherfucker till he collapses. On my way. I think Warlord might be experiencing some lag. Let's hope he didn't get thrown out of the game again. Oh, he's oh, fine. I, Good. I got you. Okay. Well, here we are, Margaret. Lovely place. Okay, kill everyone! Destroy everything. I'm not sure what he hopes to gain other than, you know, just depopulating the general area of monsters. Maybe, maybe that's just his goal. Yeah, maybe that's his thing, or maybe he just wants to test our metal. Who knows with that guy? Indeed. I want to know what is up with the snow globe. I think it's just a random thought that occurred to him and he just established it as Yes, this is the plan. Follow the plan. Well, he might do a combination of random things and seemingly random things. Hold of the Fuchesi found. Lovely. Just to throw off the... You know, just to throw everyone off. 
all, all, all his random things could potentially have some reasoning to them, but, but they're just confusing enough that nobody else gets them. Yes. You just don't know for sure. Maybe he's a comp well, he is sort of a mastermind already, but maybe he is even more of a mastermind beyond, you know, the whole I'm fucking nuts kind of angle. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Let's just say, the universe depends on you. I'll send you the particulars. 